Hey there, uh, there's a lot of videos out there on how to jailbreak um, iPod Touches version 1.1.4. They're quite long and hard to understand, so I made this one a little easier for people who are dumb. So here we go. It's how to jailbreak iPod Touches version 1.1.4. First of all, you're going to want to make sure your iPod's plugged in. And then you're going to want to go to www.ziphone.org. Once you get there, it should come up with a page like this, asking you what language you like it in. You would like it in English. And it should come to this. And if you scroll down a little bit, you should come to where it says, um, click here. To download ZiPhone main and that should bring you to this page which you'd either download it for a, um, a computer using Windows or you can download it for a computer using Mac and that depends on what computer you have um, now I'm going to download it for Windows so you're just going to want to save it anywhere um, click where you want to save it and then you're just going to wait for it to download quickly. Um, it will take a lot longer than this, depending on what your download speed is. I've just sped this up for the sake of the video. Um, once it's all downloaded, you're going to find where you've saved it to. And double click the, uh, the, zi uh, the zip icon. And you're going to want to say um, run, and it's going to come up with this. It's perfectly normal, just click OK. And then instead of clicking um, unzip, you're going to want to click the three little dots just off to the side to figure out where you want to save the unzip folder to. I'm going to click uh, desktop. And then um, now you're allowed to click unzip now that it's saved to your desktop. It should um, take a couple seconds, but then come up with this window. It can also do iPod, uh, iPhones, but for just straight um, iPods, you're going to want to click Jailbreak. So that's if you've got a touch, Jailbreak. Make sure your iPod's plugged in. Um, this little bar here should fill up. And then at the same time, a whole heap of numbers are going to scroll down the screen of your iPod. It's completely normal, so don't worry. Um, so And then it'll come up with a Z made out of numbers. After that, your iPod should go back to normal, um, and then hopefully you have a um, icon like that in your desktop somewhere. It's great. This one's a lot e easier, so because you, you don't have to restore your iPod or anything. Um, so yeah, enjoy. It should all be up and running. Any problems? Just comment me. So yeah, enjoy.